Let's do a postmortem on the Xeno threat event, which has took place over the past week. And uh, Captain Richard, how was your experience? Uh, yeah, it must be 30k. Elevator stuck on new tally. All right, so uh, yeah, it looks it looks like 3.12.1 is having some very serious problems. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Submit that to well-timed clips because I think it encapsulated pretty much what people were experiencing on Saturday. I heard Sunday wasn't so bad, but there were a fair amount of 30Ks in there. Uh, but let's talk more about the event itself. Let me go full screen for you because there's some beautiful footage here to see. Here we go. How's that? So uh, this footage is brought to you by Jancro. Jancro, is this your footage? I think it is. And uh, what they did was plant that 890 jump right by the staff area and toss off all the stuff they needed. Now, there's a couple of things you need for the event. It's a server-wide event. It goes, help us. There's a Xeno threat. You've got to rearm the Javelin. And to rearm the Javelin, you've got to go to this wreck here and collect these things. Now, these are Zeta Prolonite. Now, I think the devs were on something. They were having some kind of edibles or something when they chose these names. They thought it would be funny to make me pronounce it probably. You need Zeta Prolonide, Acryliplex, and Dulu Diluther Max. Nailed it. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, there's a tally of how much you've collected of each. And also be aware that one of these, I forgot which one, cannot travel in quantum. It will explode. So you have to slow boat it over to Jericho where the javelin is waiting. And you've got to basically store all the stuff. And then the javelin's ready to be armed and it will go fight the Idris. Now, there were a couple of issues. Well, you know, the, the issues, first of all, the crashes, which everyone experienced. On Saturday, uh, better on Sunday, I heard. But I also saw a couple of people post some really good footage, very fast frame rates. Uh, I do think they probably had supercomputers. But this was a strain for a lot of people to run on average computers. Uh, those of you who are lucky enough to have uh, 5950 AMDs and some uh, 3080s in there seem to be running it okay. Uh, there's definitely a lot more work to be done to make this run smoothly on the average PC. But uh, this is why it is being tested. So what happens is once you collect everything, you go uh, on the javelin and then a javelin gets ready to go out and shoot the Idris. Let's watch some of that. Once your javelin has been fully armed, it's ready to go, then the Xeno threat Idris show up. Everyone goes and shoots the Idris. It is a lot of fun. And uh, you've probably seen the Idris blow up many times. I've also seen some people take on the javelin, which exploded surprisingly fast also. Everyone fire, everyone fire. Green light, go, 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 go. Fire, 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 fire. He flares. That's it? <laughs> Easier than an interest. I think it's super good. Yeah, there's no way. Dolphin. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. So a fun event, a lot of good feedback saying this was the most fun a lot of people had because it encouraged everyone on the server to go and do one thing, to focus on something together. But there are some small issues. First of all, uh, performance issues aside, we'll get that in a second, there's the issue of PvP. Let me just jump to another video. So the problem is this. Now, if you are in a smaller group, the group which did this right here, there were about 27 or 28 of them, uh, it wasn't a problem that security fly around and protect them from PvPers, which is great because it's giving the PvP community something to do. But if you are in a smaller group, there's five, there's 10 of you, if there's an unorganized group on the server that goes together and simply wants to go and help the Javelin, and there's a coordinated group of five or 10 PvPers, they will ruin your day each and every time. And you know what? That's the kind of game it is. But at the same time, if CIG is trying to encourage a PvE event, they need to have certain barriers in place which will prevent or at least assist the PvEers in completing their tasks without having to rely on dogfighting. Not everyone 
who goes into a PvE event is going to be good at combat. And so I feel there's a big hole left open there that if you want PvP or if you just want to go blow up some ships, these are a great way to go find where players are and simply blow them up as they're trying to get stuff off the Starfarer or as they're ferrying stuff over to Jericho. It's a wonderful way to get your PvP on uh, without very little uh, challenge to you at all unless there are some dedicated fighters with the group willing to take on the pvpers so i'm not sure how they plan on handling that i'm not sure if they're going to do anything about that at all but in my opinion if this is meant to be a pve event with maybe some pvp elements there's got to be more npc security helping the pvers who just want to rebuild the, the the javelin there or help the javelin along i'm not exactly sure how they plan on balancing that or if they even do uh, creating some areas, uh, an armistice zone, creating a larger armistice zone where you can simply not get shot at as you refuel and repair the javelin maybe. There's a lot of things to discuss in that area itself, but uh, there is some balance to be made. As a first run test of this event, I say it was okay. I give it about a 75 out of 100. Uh, performance issues being the biggest problem. Uh, but again, those who had supercomputers with uh, 5950s and uh 3090s in the computers they seem to run it pretty well everyone else had some issues i'm not sure what they can do to speed this up and make us run a bit better it seems to be there's a lot of uh, fine-tuning to do to make this run better on everyone's computers uh some painful uh frame rates of around 10 to 15 some people reported so uh good thing this was ptu and not live i think there's a bit more work to do i don't think this is ready for prime time just yet so the two issues of importance are essentially the beautiful shot over there. Check that out. Lovely. Uh, performance issues. Definitely need to fix it up. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. And otherwise, the uh, discourage or encouraging PvE or PvP. I'm not sure which angle they want to go for it. But I do feel there is a fairly, fairly large segment of the community that want to try avoid PvP and just enjoy doing stuff with other people besides mining and exploring. Um, so that's the challenge they face here. And I want to know if you've played the Xeno Threat event, if you got in there. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, how you think they can possibly balance this. Uh, one idea was simply put in more protection, more NPCs flying around protecting everyone doing the PvE work. Uh, but that takes away from the spirit of the game where they want to encourage some natural PvP action also. But at the same time, I do feel it's unfair because if you are a specifically PvP-focused organization or group, uh, these events are a magnet. It's a wonderful place to go and blow up other people just because you can. So definitely a lot of balance to be done. I love this javelin. Isn't it beautiful? A lot of balancing still to be done on this, but I think uh, definitely potential. And there are going to be more events like this. In fact, there's already a couple of... Uh, mentions of a nine tails event doing something similar so besides xeno threat there could be nine tails there could be all these factions coming up saying hey we need help doing that or ever on the server come help us do this so i think this is a good trial run and a blueprint for what future events can be and uh, no doubt cig taking notes on how to improve this and make things better in the future so i'm looking to forward to seeing what the nine tail events which have been rumored might be up to and the fine tuning on this uh, as they optimize it and make it run a bit better. With that, guys, if you enjoy my content, you know what to do at this point, right? Do I have to tell you even? Give me a thumbs up. Your comments below help a lot. Subscribe to this channel if you feel I deserve it, and I'll catch you in the next one.